The Detroit Historical Museum in Detroit, Michigan. This place surprised me. I have lived within 15 miles of Detroit my entire life. This is the first time I've ever been to this museum. And it was a delight. And there's so much history in here. We couldn't even listen to it all or even seen everything in the couple hours that we spent here. It's got a cute little store. Um, it's very cheap. It's like $10 per person. I think seniors were free. Uh, if you have a student ID, it's $6. And like I said, you could spend an entire day. There's a lot of restaurants around within walking distance. Uh, you will have to park if you park in their parking lot. It is $9. If not, you can park on the street. It's a dollar an hour, but you have to re-up your parking every two hours. Otherwise, you can get a ticket. So you can download the app, set a reminder, and then they can send it to you. I did not see any place to buy food in the museum itself. So this portion of it is the very first area that we entered in. And from the very first settlers that came here, you get to listen to each person you'd like to by pushing a button and hearing the story of what they did, uh, what they tried to do when they came here, how they traveled down the lakes and the rivers, um, so, get to hear from the native Indians. It's definitely well worth it, and I will have other parts. You can stop this and read some of the signs here. Here you see Stroh's. Um, my grandfather worked at Stroh Brewery. So this was really cool to see. A lot of inventors here in the Detroit area.
This next section I really liked. It was, or it is, the Detroit's oldest companies that are still around. You have your Carhartt. There's Fago here. There's uh, a lot of companies that are still here today after all these years. <laughs> 